Hello everybody, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. It's about that time. Let's go take that walk and see what's in the fridge today. Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. We got another beer here that Jonathan, Jonathan sent me from Louisiana. This is uh, Utah Brewing's Hop Rising, which is a double India Pale Ale. 75 IBUs, coming in at 9%. Uh, the only drawback to this beer, that this beer was born on 082813. So this beer is almost six months old. So... <laughs> I hate, to, I hate to review beers that's that old because I know for sure that the hops have faded in this beer. And he wrote that, uh, that he gets this beer for like $1.89 uh, a bottle. And there may be a reason for that. They're trying to get rid of it since it's got that old of a born on date. Uh, there are some good reviews on this beer. Uh, but I would say that it's either been drank from a, on tap, being a fresh keg, or a fresh bottle. Uh, I hate to, like I said, I hate to review beers that's been in a bottle that old. I have reviewed them before. If it's a boozy beer, I have cellared them before, like the Hop Slam from last year. And it got a little bit better uh, over time. But, of course, the, the hops are going to fade uh, once it's been in a bottle that long or, or, or whatever. You know, it's uh, uh, the IPAs are meant to be drank fresh. Uh, and uh, this one is not quite as fresh as it probably should be for me to be reviewing. But it was sent to me, so I feel obligated to, to review it. And... Uh, I hate to, like I said, I hate to pass judgment on, on a beer that's been in the bottle that long, but, uh, and I've, I've pulled up the sights, and evidently, rape beer is having a hitch in their get-along, their sights not coming up on this beer, so, we're going to go off of Beer Advocate's, uh, uh, comments and, and uh, what their information is on this beer. This is a 9 percenter. It is an American Double Imperial IPA and it says availability is year round so I don't know how often they do a batch and, and bottle it but uh, uh, Jonathan like I said when I got the beer mail and did the video for that you need to check your dates on your bottles if you're buying a beer that old because if you're, if you're drinking something that's six months old as uh, to do a quick comparison Pick up a bottle that, that sits old and pick up a bottle that's fresh and do a side-by-side -side and see how much different the hop profile is going to be on those two beers. Uh, I'm sure it's going to be more intense on a fresh bottle than it's going to be on a bottle that's got this much age on it. So with that being said, let's go over to the food pairings. This is your typical IPA uh, food pairing. Cuisine is barbecue. The cheeses are peppery. Pepper Jack, Monterey, Blue, Sharp, Cheddar. Your more pungent cheeses, Gorgonzola and Limburger. And the meat for this is game, grilled meat, and salmon. Glassware is a Stanford Tulip, oversized wine glass. I got the double glass. And it being a 9 percenter, it can be cellar. Just be aware the hops are going to fade over time. Like, I'm pretty sure this one's probably going to be. So... That's, uh, and I've not had this beer before, so Jonathan, thanks again for sending it to me. I do appreciate it. And into the glass we will go. Alright. Looks very cloudy. It is. It's, uh, I can just barely see the bulb coming through it, so it's, uh, it doesn't say whether it's bottle conditioned or anything, but uh, it is a kind of a cloudy uh, amber color, tangerine, uh, slightly uh, slightly hazy through the bulb. And with that pour, we just barely got about a quarter of an inch of head on this beer. So let's get a nose on it. I'm getting. I'm getting a little bit of grapefruit, slight pine, alcohol, 
maybe a little live fruit like mango or, or apples or something like that. It does have a it does have a, an alcohol presence to it though, guys. Doesn't smell too bad though, so let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Jonathan. Thank you, sir. Not bad. Not as good as it probably could be, but not bad. Nine percent or this this beer is going to keep for quite a while, but like I keep saying to you guys, the hops will fade. Uh, I'm not saying. I mean, if you're used to drinking a six, six month old double IPA, uh, you may be have come accustomed to drinking something that age. If that's what your beer store sells, but it does have a, a fairly strong alcohol presence to this beer at nine percent. Definitely has a bitter back end, but the hops, I'm sure, have faded. Tangerine, grapefruit, a little bit of pineapple. A little bit of citrus, citrus, citrusiness to it. Not bad. It's got a good taste, and they are bottling, uh, depending on bottling date on the bottle. You just need to check that before you buy it. Uh, like I said, if I seen this in the store, I would definitely bring it to the management's attention. If they didn't have it in a clearance aisle or, or, or out in the aisle to be marked down that uh, the, the beer was uh, had a six-month uh, bottling date on it. So, But not bad. Uh, I can see why he likes this beer. But I don't know if he's drinking anything fresher than what he's drinking this at. So, Jonathan, uh, uh, check those bottling dates, brother. That's, all, uh, that's, that's, that's what I want to tell you on, on a beer like this. It's not going to go bad, but I'm sure if you had a fresh bottle of this, it's going to have a whole lot more hot profile than we're getting out of this bottle of being at six months old. So, But that being said, let me, uh, let me go let the other half taste a little bit of this and sip on this for just a little bit. And then we'll come back and do the final chug on this one. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little bit left here. Maybe just a little bit more. This beer is pretty delicious. I could just imagine how good this beer would have been in September as opposed to February, end of February here now. I guarantee this is, this, this is probably a 9 or a 10 beer when it's fresh. But I'm saddened uh, that it's not as, as fresh as it could or should be for me to be reviewing it because I hate to give it lower numbers than it deserves. But this bottle, <laughs> this bottle, even though it's probably the, the, the freshest thing that John can, that can get his hands on, I guess, uh, is almost six months old here, and I'm reviewing it. So they are, they are I, I, I applaud these guys for putting a very easy to read uh, bottling code in yellow on the side of the bottle here. Uh, they let you know that. So, Jonathan, you need to pay attention to that. Look at these bottling dates on these beers when you buy them. Don't be buying beers that are six months old, especially if they're IPAs or double IPAs, because you're not going to get the hot freshness that you, that you should be getting. And if, uh, if you're paying that, pay, unless you bought it in a clearance aisle or, or they've marked it down because it's, it's been sitting on the shelf, you, you shouldn't you should be getting a better deal than, than what you're getting. So, uh, uh, Trying to educate these guys on, on that and trying to educate myself and because I'm, I'm as guilty as the next guy for buying beers that doesn't have bottling dates on them or, or buying old beers. Uh, I try to pay attention to that now. In 2014, uh, I told you guys I wasn't going to be buying any beers that, that, that didn't have a bottling date on it or, or the bottling date was was uh, past its prime. So on these IPAs and stuff, you should be buying them as fresh as you can get them. And once they pass it, three to four months you should be questioning and once they get to the sixth month I wouldn't even be purchasing them but this is a pretty tasty beer it's still kind of tasty to be as old as it is but I know it, it's probably going to be an awesome beer when it's fresh so with that being said guys let's do the final chug on this one
very nice, very nice beer. I'm, it's just the hot, the hot profile. I'm, I am sure that has faded, being bottled as long as it has. So, guys, I'm pretty sure this is probably an A beer when it's fresh, but it's not going to get the A tonight. I'm, I'm going to give it to seven, which is a B plus. Uh, would love to have my hands on a fresh bottle of this because I'm pretty sure it's either going to be an eight or a nine beer for sure. May even be a ten. I'm not. I'm not sure until I actually get one that's uh, fresher than this one. But I hate to pass. Like I said, I keep saying this, but I hate to pass judgment on a beer that's six months old. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to give it to seven, which is a B plus. Uh, very tasty beer, so if you can get your hands on a fresh bottle or you've had a fresh bottle of this, give me some comments back on this and whether you liked it or didn't like it. Uh, we'll go over and see what the other guys think. Uh, looks like great beers came back up since I first started this review. We'll go over to uh, Beer Advocate says it's 86 in the very good range. I would agree with that. For this bottle being that old, I, if I was putting a numeric number on this, I would say between 87 and 89, somewhere in that area. Uh, pretty tasty. I mean, it's it's nice. A little more alcohol than uh, than I like to see, but not too bad. As it warmed up, uh, it, it wasn't as it wasn't as uh, prominent as it was when I first poured it into the glass. So at the end of the glass, it was very enjoyable. It, 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 once it warmed up to room temperature, I did enjoy this beer. So uh, very tasty. Uh, we'll go over to uh, Rate Beer, and Rate Beer says. 96 overall so that leads me to think there's a lot of people who think this is an awesome beer uh, and I'm not going to argue with that because of the, of the age of this beer uh, and but the downside of that is that 96 is their overall and 75 in the style so I don't know why they don't think it fits in the style because maybe the booziness or, or whatever or, or maybe somebody else has got an older bottle. I, I really don't know. I don't know how often they produce this beer. If they only do it every six months, uh, it says availability year round. So I don't know how often they produce the beer. And a lot of these brewers will fit, will fit dates. Instead of actually having a born on date, they'll have best by date. And they like to stretch that out for shelf life. I mean, uh, uh, if you get a, I mean, if, if you're producing this beer in January and they've had a Best Buy date in July or August, that's that's a little long for an IPA. To me, it's a, even a little long for a double IPA. So, the fresher you can get your hands on an IPA or a double IPA, the better off you're going to be, and the more you're going to like it, more or less, if you're a hophead like I am. So, with that being said, guys, it's a pretty damn tasty beer. And Jonathan, thanks again, brother, for sending me this beer. I just wish it had been just a tad fresher so I could give an honest uh, review of, of what the beer is instead of a beer that's uh, been in a bottle for six months. But I still do appreciate it. So, thanks for sending me this beer. I cannot get my hands on this beer here in Virginia. Uh, I have to uh, depend on uh, guys like Jonathan and Parrish and, and Matt and, and all the rest of the guys that send me beers to, to review. Guys, thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. I do appreciate it. And don't think down on the beer because I didn't give it to grade as you think that I should give it. But I try to be as honest as I can on these beer reviews. Uh, with the, uh, this amount of beers that I have reviewed, uh, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of know what's tasty and what's not tasty, and what's past its prime, and and what's boozy and what's not boozy. And a lot of people like that. And of course, some people disagree with me, and I appreciate that. Beer tastes are subjective, and what I may like. Uh, you may not like and what I may love you may hate so and vice versa so that's the way the beer the beer world is depending on where your palate at palate is and and, and what your beer tastes are whether you like uh, the style of beer some people love Kolsch's and Lambics and and all that kind of stuff where they're really in Pilsner's that are really not my style but I try to be as honest as I can with the beer reviews guys you know me it's I, I, it doesn't do me any good to lie to you about what I think the beer is or what I'm tasting in the beer. So it is what it is. So guys, thanks for joining in. Uh, that's where this beer ends up tonight. So if you've had this beer and had a fresh bottle of it, uh, let me know what you think of it. Give me some comments back on this. And as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and let's go see what's in the fridge tomorrow. I'll see you then.